Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentor slash ITVersity and uh, now and a uh, few videos um, later I will try to cover day-to-day -day operations of Hadoop Administrator. So uh, once the cluster is set up, uh, it will be once in quarter or once in a half year event. So you hardly, you will not set up uh, Hadoop clusters on a daily basis. Yeah, when you actually set up the cluster, you have to go through the life cycle of it, starting from cluster, uh, capacity planning, provisioning the servers, set up the, uh, identify the services that needs to be deployed on that cluster and then build the cluster. It might take two to three weeks uh, to begin with, uh, to have the plain uh, skeleton cluster and then you can add more and more components as and when it is needed. Once the cluster is set up, the main responsibility of the administrator is day-to-day -day operations and I will try to cover as many as possible over time. Uh, so this agenda will be changing. Uh, for now, these are the things which I, uh, which came to my mind. But over time, this agenda will change and uh, uh, then I will add more and more uh, videos uh, uh, for administration to cover almost all uh, the topics. And I will try to cover with as many, um, I will try to cover it uh, vendor agnostic. So these concepts can be leveraged whether you are using uh, uh, Ambari or Hortonworks distribution to monitor the cluster or Cloudera manager with the Cloudera distribution or Mapper distribution or uh, any other distribution. You can follow the same principles for day-to-day -day operations. So as of now, these are the things which I have, uh, which I will be talking about. Add or delete user spaces, migration of data from one Hadoop cluster to another Hadoop cluster. Upgrading the software, uh, if you are using a third party distribution, it has to be, uh, you have to follow the documentation of that distribution. If you are using plain vanilla Hadoop, you have to be extremely careful because um, there is a lot of tedious and manual work and uh, uh, human error can cause significant issues. And then adding or removing hosts in the cluster, primarily I will try to focus on uh, uh, the distributions and add or remove the services. Troubleshooting the issues, uh, changing the parameters at runtime, updating the parameter files, uh, both are same actually. Uh, so let me fix this. Oh, sorry, they are different. So the first one is actually uh, 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 overriding the parameters at runtime so let me change it so that changing or overriding the parameters at runtime command line for administrators we typically use command line and then updating the parameter files we will typically use third party uh, web interfaces for that and also we will see how to set up alerts uh, using these third party tools or even manual so that being said, this is just introduction video and these are the things which will be covered uh, in this. Uh, uh, so we, we will try to cover uh, several aspects of day to day operations using third party distributions such as Cloudera, Hortonworks, etc. And uh, uh, in some places we, uh, uh, we set up clusters manually using uh, DevOps tools like Puppet. So I will try to add it over time. Uh, for now I will primarily focus on Cloudera and Hortonworks. That being said, um, we will catch up in the next video and see one, one after the other. Uh, probably I might club if the topic is too small or if two topics are tightly correlated. I will try to club, club those two topics into one video. Otherwise, I will try to make separate video for each and every topic. So that being said, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will see a lot and lot more exciting content uh, uh, with uh, real world experience and uh, definitely will learn quite a bit, not only just Hadoop uh, or big data, but also uh, uh, conventional tools uh, as well as uh, other latest technologies. I will try to cover as many as possible over time. And uh, um, if you like the content of any particular video, please click on the like button. If you uh, have any technical question on a particular topic uh, related to a particular video or want to provide feedback, please use the comment section uh, in the YouTube. Slowly, I am planning to build the index 
on that and try to uh, provide information uh, in a website so uh, posting those things in comments will help me in analyzing that data and come up with a reliable platform uh, in case uh, future aspirants have any doubts so please use the comment section for uh, for your questions thank you very much bye